Anyway, let's just keep the cutthroat and uh, the crushing trap and uh, maybe the oven scout. So, you fund yourself through arena? Are the rewards that good? Well, I used to do that. I suppose uh, you not necessarily asked me about that. But yeah, arena was actually a good way to not only fully enjoy the game because it was even playing field, but also it was a good way to gain access to cards. Uh, for ranked, but actually I didn't care about that. I played arena because I liked arena And I would definitely say that the the hearthstone arena mode is uh, probably still superior to Gwent arena mode. The Gwent arena mode is Well, they tried but I, th I think they just need to try harder. I'm just gonna Ragnarok that You have over 3,000 wins in Arena. Pfft, what a fucking rookie. Rewards are heavily skewed towards high wins. Seven wins is break even. Uh, well, you also need to consider the quests. And the quests got worse as well. Uh, the, the, the quests these days are a lot. A lot. Uh. Okay, maybe not a lot, but significantly harder to complete than they were in the past. Should I just move that guy away? Also use the boost. I don't know if the pitfall trap is gonna help us too much later. Might as well use it now. Nearly twenty-one thousand wins in rank though. Fucking rookie. 21,000 wins? I would need to check how many wins I got, but I'm pretty sure that my my arena wins are higher than my ranked wins. I think I have maybe more, but it doesn't feel that good to say that I have more wins than uh, you in arena. I played some Hearthstone, okay? And uh, it, it kind of sounds like I have an obsession about Hearthstone. Uh, do I just kill Ran? Humans are not to be trusted. Okay, let's log that guy. What's in the what's in the past now? I'm not really playing Hearthstone now. What if that is worth? Uh, let's move this guy in the front and put the Nausicaa Sergeant in the back. Are there any good card games out there? Hearthstone is still a fun game, even though Gwent is better. Yeah, I agree with the analysis. I just... If I had to choose between one of them, I I'm just playing Gwent. So, I'm not playing uh, that crazy amount. And uh, for me, it's just like a choice between one of them. So, I'm going with Gwent. And the fact is that it, it just not purely comes down to the gameplay. Even though I, I do prefer Gwen's gameplay, but for a lot of people, it just really comes down to like what game you can actually play. And the Hearthstone, you can play. At least not fully. I'm trying to turn on for now. Seems okay so far, but only got 10-15 uh, hours. The turn on is okay. Oh, we got the special boar. We kick the cutthroat. You can get out all the traps. Please, close! 
This could be ridiculous if he doesn't shut down things. But not so not so great if he does. Well, let's go with the tree and boar. I'm not sure where we can fit in the swordmaster. Maybe this can just draw some removal. Swords I smile at. Swords I smile at. You guys wanna talk about the uh, new Game of Thrones uh, episode? We can talk about it. Unless someone is like, oh my god, I, I gotta watch still. I mean, and of course, Artifact is, a, is the big shit. Uh, what? Uh, the big hit? Oh, I misread that. What a big blunder. Just checked. 4,268 wins on Hearthstone Arena. And 21,000 wins on the ladder. Those are not rookie numbers. We need to calculate the average amount of time it takes to do that. I have a, a strong suspicion that you like uh, Hearthstone quite a bit. Oh, okay. I'm not talking about God. We can talk about some old stuff. I I'm always open to some topics. It's correct the first time. Artifact is a big shit. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even meant to say that Artifact is a big shit. I just, you know, that's how you read. You just see the letters and you just like, you see like 20 letters. That's kind of the, okay, that's kind of like a good amount that you can like glance at and you just make sense of it. Because you don't read by letter or letter, letter to letter or and word to word. You read like, you see a, like a bunch of letters, make sense of it, next, next. Okay, let's go with that guy. Kayam! That could be ridiculous if he can set it up. Mercy, I will not grant you. Never. What? Oh, come on. Hold on. Hold on. Try it, Matron. Careful, the moss. Don't trample it. That's kind of what I tried to do. He's basically running what I was running. Victory and I got own. It was too shit. I think we're just gonna replay the crushing trap. We play an extra crushing trap. Wrong man. An interesting choice. <laughs> nice. It just summons it. Although, gotta make sure that. Ah, oh, that's fine. Can't hit the, my trap. And... Oh, look at that. I could he lose this one. Well played, my friend. Yes, you have no idea how well played this is. What a poor guy. Maybe like move move around your vet. Oh, I just not waste time. This guy's super dead. 
Okay, let's move back your vat. We're not using the booba charge here. Okay. Why do I feel like there need to be such a jerk when I'm playing uh, Boover? This is basically the best you can hope for. He even had the Vilgefortz in it, which actually made sense. So there you go. He only lost by 30 points. So... Um... That seems about right. GG. Uh... Sorcerers of the Lodge, uh, Tris looking uh, Opolux, GG. Okay, uh, that goes away. What do you guys think? The fact that uh, Artifact is dead, does it affect the reputation of, of uh, Gwent's? Not Gwent's. Magic's uh, creator, Andrew Garfield? I believe, not sure. I think we need to boost the smuggler Special and he drops on the board you, and we're gonna have a lookout we're gonna be on the lookout for what kind of Nilfgaard decks can beat us so far the only Nilfgaard deck that beat us was the usurper that uh, got a little lucky maybe but it, it wasn't the case mostly he just played a lot of uh, ruthless removal and that worked so it's free, but what about people who pay for the game? It doesn't matter. If I paid for a service, but... Okay, it's kind of like hard to find a, a real world comparison to it. Yeah, I get your point. So you can't refund those people. Like what, they want refunds now? I don't know. It's a good, good question, I, I suppose. But in a way, I'm just saying that if you, if you bought something and... It, and it went free to play. I'm just gonna stick with games because it's really hard to find a, a real world, world equivalent of it. You're not really losing out on your or purchase in a way. You you bought it at a certain time to have access to the product. If the product goes free to play in like five minutes. That's not what that's not what you paid for. I think. He was overrated. Magic was a unicorn, and the only way artifact can compete if it goes uh, free to play. I don't know if he can compete, but I suppose they might as well try. May your sword and arm be one. Because some games are just, you know, some games get, you know, you might buy some games, but it doesn't have the the, the player base, and the free to play might bring in the player base. I'm not not even saying that it, it's necessarily gonna bring in the player base, but I suppose might as well try it. Okay, I think we're gonna play Mahakam Horn. Although this is a bit of a dead giveaway. What are we doing? But it will piss off people that actually paid. If not by strength, then by but my strength. argument is, uh, simplified, that by the game going free to play, they are actually getting more value because the game actually becomes playable. Or more playable. So, I wouldn't be concerned about that. Peace with humans, and by thus. Onward, oh my God. Head. Artifact is too RNG, too greedy, too boring, too stressful and too long. Oh yeah. They're doing homecoming now? <laughs> sure. Shiny meow. Ragnarok is pretty damn sweet. No one else, no one else plays Ragnarok except one Brewer guy who I, who I ran into and just straight up copied my deck. But other than that one guy, no one else plays Ragnarok.
do they have some official plans for that card game? But what would be the better question is that are there any other card games that are coming up? Because it seems like it's slowed down. After Hearthstone, it seems like everyone, well not, not right away Hearthstone, but like as Hearthstone came out and like it was obvious how popular it was and how much of a money, it, uh, how, how much money it made, everyone wanted a piece of a puzzle. But now, I'm not really seeing a lot of new contenders. These the, these the ones that are getting popular. I just don't know about them. The market is saturated. I could have told that. Yeah, but yeah. But to the point where people are actually not even trying anymore. At least not obviously. Yeah, we need to kick that guy. This is not good because we don't have access to the, the double trap. If we got a double trap out of it, that would be sweet. But that's not a double trap. He can kill the tree and boar. Smuggler could get uh, locked. Yeah, they are trying the deck that uh, that made sense to me, but I still lost with it. Magic Arena is doing well. Oh yeah, but it kind of has the that Hearthstone problem. Market is saturated with half made shit. Oh, what? Top of my deck is a pig. Uh, well, we can technically play the sentry as aggressively as well. That probably makes more sense. So let's just go with the matron. I'm not sure what to do. Usually, my win condition is like double, double crushing trap, but when we don't have that. Uh, we can play this. This could be at most an 8 now. No one can hide from you. What? Oh! That's actually a pretty good combo. Put my best card at the top, then Cantrell plays that. I like that. Uh, let's log that sucker. Yennefer, invocation. Utter your wish, and I shall make it so. We have Hearthstone, Magic, Gwent, The Elder Scrolls Legends, and the Veeb game. What's the Veeb game? Oh my god, I didn't like The Elder Scrolls Legends too much, despite loving Elder Scrolls. I didn't like Elder Scrolls Legends too much. It was okay, it just felt like a... Another Hearthstone. Maybe even a better one, but at the time that's not what I was looking for. I literally fallen asleep while I was doing the tutorial. Only Hearthstone and Magic have serious Out numbers of, of way, players. Rabbit! Gwent is slowly recovering. I don't know if Gwent is ever gonna get to the point. Compete with those... Badasses. Play the sentry later. I don't know if I want to play the pitfall trap. Okay, maybe we're gonna. S okay, we're gonna play the sentry no. now. Let's yeah. just assume that he doesn't have a lot of control, just like my deck, and it's just pathetic, just like my deck. Dry 
Shadowverse is kind of popular in Asia. I am so it's too damn deep. <laughs> oh yeah, I tried it, but it wasn't bad. Actually, joke aside, it had the best... Uh, how should I call it? It wasn't even a tutorial, it, was, it almost felt like a story, a journey. It was pretty good. Slaughter them to a man! I liked it. The, the the story was good. I liked it. For for that alone, I I almost I almost I was almost sold on it, and I liked it. I really enjoyed it. It was pretty unique as well. Shadowverse is actually pretty damn sweet, but I wasn't like completely uh, sold on it. Warhammer have a card game also. It's shit. What? Weaves? It has the best weave. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go with the Great Oak. So this guy uh, didn't show me the way as well. Unfortunately. But maybe someone will. And I didn't even have my wing condition. Well, we had a big tree, but no crushing traps. Shiny Meow? GG.